What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people been talking about, you know, the whole thing when you had content creators in O Block. Uh, I believe the guy name is Manny. I think he's a content creator from Philadelphia. Him and a few of his homeboys was in old block shooting a documentary or some type of content early in the morning, like two, three something in the morning. And uh, you clearly see like old block members walk up on him. I believe Mona Duke. Um, had a conversation with him. Man, what the fuck y'all doing out here? Who y'all is, you know? Kind of explained to him, and, you know, they held their own. Look, he said my name, Manny, you know, he a content creator or something. Then they asked him, kind of pressed him, look, did she get any permission to do this shit? You know, bro, them just came out here with their camera for to get the content. You got to remember, O Block is getting famous. You know, that area done got big. It's synonymous with, like, the name of Chicago. People don't really look at it like the hood. People is visiting O Block and the King Von Moore. Like, it's a tourist attraction. That's like the Chicago version of Disneyland, if you really want to look at it like that. You know, but those guys were out there shooting videos. They were confronted by Mona Duke. You know, he didn't seem very happy. He seemed a little agitated, you know. But the more you watch it, you clearly can see that he was a little agitated because this shit going on, you know. Even though you see this shit on the videos and stuff like that, it's a real war going on. People are losing their lives. People are being shot. It was recently somebody just killed outside the gates, or like right by the gates, like maybe last week, you know. So just to have a whole bunch of people, a group of people inside an old block, Late at night, nobody knows strangers. That could have been dangerous for them, you know? And Mona do kind of explained that, look, y'all gonna be hurt out here and shit like that. I'm not gonna lie, it did look like somebody took the camera from them and shit like that. But Manny said they was able to get that camera back. But that's one thing I don't want people to understand, you know? When you a blogger and a content creator or a blogger or somebody who speaks on cultures of the music or just shit in the streets, this shit is very dangerous, you know. It's a lot of times people don't realize, like me, I be in a room with a lot of these guys who are real street gorillas, you know. And I'm just lucky enough to get an opportunity that I don't have to feel that temperament from them, you know. So I think, you know, that guy who's out there doing the content, I think it's dope, you know. In this blog game, and this content game, you got to take chances in this shit. A scared man is a dead man, and that is the honest truth. But then again, I clearly understand where Mona Duke is coming from, you know. People don't know how y'all look. It's a group of y'all. Y'all inside of this place. Nobody know you, you know. Y'all lucky y'all didn't get y'all to blip, 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 blip down in this shit, you know. A lot of people don't realize this is not a movie. This is real life. Unfortunately, the internet, they picked out its own characters. And, you know, Parkway Gardens is the, you know, it's the scenery. But, unfortunately, this is real life, real situations. A lot of bloodshed, uh, a lot of surveillance for protecting themselves. You know, people don't know who you is and you coming through them gates. Motherfucker, get on your ass. In my opinion, them young men were lucky that they wasn't shot and killed. You know, especially, you know, people not knowing who y'all are, even the ops riding past and thinking y'all somebody and, you know, get to shooting. Those guys looked like they were wearing young clothes. They didn't look real old. So you could have been mistaken for rival enemies, you know, in my opinion. But people was asking me to speak on that. I think it's dope when bloggers go the extra mile for the content, but we do got to be careful, not risk our life and make sure we're able to get back home to the kids, in my opinion. I kind of want to ask y'all a question. I'm going to leave it out me and put it on y'all because I'm always asking shit. And I'm always telling shit. So I want y'all to tell me and y'all opinion. Do you think Mona Duke was bogus for how he came at them and shit? Or do you think, hey, he got a point. We don't really know y'all. Y'all didn't check in. Nobody knows what the fuck y'all doing or even why y'all here. You know, this shit could have been dangerous. Somebody could lost their life. I want to know what y'all think. Leave a comment. It's the homie 2 Tell the Street Reporter. Blah, blah, blah.